Offer. After this, we will, yeah. No, do not give him a snack. No. I'm you know, because what, are you going to get yourself all dirty? Yes. Yeah. Snack is code for rehab. <laughs> this is Hollywood. Let's do this. <laughs> you got it here first, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, my heart just bled for you in this movie. Three gorgeous gals yeah. get to kiss them all. Yeah. Tough break. It is a very tough break. You know, payment comes sometimes not necessarily in money. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, how did you kind of isolate each woman to, you know, it must have been very zen for you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we moved to Jordan to shoot this so I could do this properly. Um, no, <laughs> I, it was it was great. It was, I mean, it, you know, they're... they're, they're it's one thing to say they're three beautiful women because they are, but they're three, you know, immensely talented women as well. So yeah. four, actually, we have Abigail Breslin as well. So um, that that was just a dream come true. It's so exciting to work with people that are that good. Now, what up with that, Isabel? I with that Abigail Breslin? Yeah. My God, that kid! You think you're talking to a 21 year old? I know. How did you relate to her? She is really a dynamo. Yeah, day. I I I looked up to her. Actually, that's how I related to her. She's uh, she's got it together. I mean, she's uh, you know, she's she's the complete package. She's the real deal. So I mean, she's I look forward to seeing what she does in the future. But she's uh, she's she's uh, the gem. Yeah, and what I love so much about this film is that it's being told from a male perspective. You don't mm. ever ever get that in film anywhere. You know well, that? yeah. I mean, if you really tell a love story from the male perspective, it's usually just a series of simple grunts. You know. Now he was pretty brutally honest with her. Do you yeah. think, like down the road, one day when Ryan Reynolds has his own little daughter to tell a story to, mm -hmm. uh, would you be that brutal? I'll be brutal when I have kids. Are you kidding me? I'm having kids, so they're they're you know they're not just children. Yeah. You know, they're also uh, emergency harvestable organs, <laughs> and everybody needs that around. You know, because something could happen, an earthquake, God knows what, and if I need a kidney, yeah, I got a blood match. Good point. And that's that's the reason to have the children. If there's some happiness incidentally along the way, that's fine too. That's fine too. But I'm not paying for college. And oh. No boys. Yeah, I know. Especially if you're going to send them in the U.S. Yes, exactly. You oh, kidding please. me? Please bring them back to Canada. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Real much you're, cheaper. You're going to McGill. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Absolutely, University of Toronto. Good one. No, Where's it's of course it's a great university. It's fantastic. <laughs> Okay, now... I went is, there. I know, I know. No, now, I didn't. I'm joking. I knew that, too. This just got weird. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Okay, let's <laughs> let's retake this. I may have to talk to you again in Toronto, I yeah. think, because this is not going well. Fine. No. <laughs> what Adjourn. I love... You really love to mix it up. What is it when you get a script? It's great, because we saw you in Smoke and Aces, mm -hmm. Rough and Tumble, and, and, you know, all these other things. Now, the romantic comedies. Ultimately, what do you really like to do? I, you know, I love to do it all. I mean, it's, I don't, I don't, honestly, I never look at, like, okay, I have to do this genre next, I have to do that genre next. I don't, you know, it's not, it's not like I, I think like that. I just read scripts that I love and I c communicate with on some level and I, I want to do it. Usually it's something that kind of scares the crap out of me a little bit. This one did. Um, specifically for the workload, too. It was just, I'm in every frame of the movie and, yeah. and I thought, okay, wow, that's interesting. Like, you actually have to kind of reel yourself in a lot. You know, typically I'm used to, kind of letting it fly, like being, you know, letting one-liners go or having, you know, all the kind of fun I want, but sometimes that forsakes the character, and in this instance, you know, this guy has to be very accessible, very real, so it was kind of a departure for me in that regard. Do you relate to him? Pardon me? Did you relate to him? Yeah, I do. I mean, we all have past loves and, you know, different, you know, we all experience so many, you know, a vast uh, array of different, you know, uh, uh, aspects in our lives, so I think, you know, looking back on things like that, I feel like I still can do that. I've always been able to do that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, nostalgia, it's like the greatest drug on earth. No so. kidding. Yeah. Well, congratulations. You did a wonderful job. Thank and, you very much. Uh, always a pleasure to talk to you. you. Too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Take it easy. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye. Okay.